The movement was begun by a scientist who discovered, quite by accident, the signals being sent. They are safe as long as they are not discovered. They want their weapons. Look out for Charlie. Oh, Charlie. I want that son of a bitch dead. I want him dead. A couple days ago, I released a video called The Schizophrenic Who Wasn't. I had analyzed a guy's audio who believed that he was having a, a schizophrenic episode. And within this episode, they were telling him to turn off the recorder, don't record what's going on, all kinds of shit like that. Anybody with a brain in their head is going to know that your schizophrenia isn't going to tell you, don't record this, you know. So I had given my ears a rest for a day or two, and then I started to go through some more of the audio further into the recording. And at one point, it sounded like they said, I've got to get him to kill himself. And it's a very robotic voice, but it's very, very loud in the recording once I modulated it. So let's play this robotic, monotone voice that says, I've got to get him to kill himself. So it says, I've got to get him to kill himself. I've got to get him to kill himself. And I was like, wow. Then after that, it says here, the guy's in therapy. The guy's in therapy. So let's loop that. He's in therapy. Plain as day, guys in therapy. And then after that, it says something, something, something. I'm not sure what that says. But here is where it all gets really loud. Right here. And check this out. It says there, why don't you kill yourself? Why don't you kill yourself? Why don't you kill yourself? And I was sitting there going, I am positive that that's what it says. It says, why don't you kill yourself? And then I hit play. And what does the guy say? I just heard a voice on the phone. It told me to kill myself. Whoa! So what do we have there? I just heard a voice on the phone. It told me to kill myself. This is going to be something you guys are going to want to share. Post this wherever you can. It says, why don't you kill yourself? Let's loop that. Now there's some frequencies above it a little bit. It's almost like a feedback from the voice and it's almost impossible to get rid of because they are uh, they are wired in together so to speak but it says why don't you kill yourself let's loop it again why don't you kill yourself and then here again it says I got to get him to kill himself. Now, there's a different version of this I want to play you. Here is a different version of this voice. I got to get him to kill himself. I got to get him to kill himself. So let's play the whole thing. Guys in therapy. Something, something dark side. I just heard a voice on the phone. It told me to kill myself. There's going to be multiple parts to this as well because there's so much in it that I have to give my ears a break. 
quite a bit. When you find this stuff in his recording, it is loud, and that is exactly why they wanted him to shut this down. Shut it off. Don't record it. Just let us drive you crazy. So you have all these young people out there, you know, 18 to, you know, 22, let's say, 21, 22, that don't know of a world any different than this. Glitter in the air, fungus everywhere. Everything's getting nanoed, and all these people are just hearing voices, people commenting on what they were doing, and, you know, mentioning their therapy, and telling them to not record this, you know, don't record what we're doing to you. It's just mind-blowing. I'll put a link to the guy's video below this. He is not schizophrenic. And the scariest thing about this is they have been working on this and normalizing it for so long that we had pop culture events in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s, depending on when you grew up, that had the fingerprints of this in it, and we didn't realize it back then, and it was being normalized, and now it's being hyper-normalized. It is kids and families, children, the population, and that's why they are hiding this at all costs because it's not only the weapon but it's the fact that so many people have been hit with this and people have been murdered with these weapons and that's on a completely different level than before whether directly or indirectly they are the most prolific serial killers in history period and that's why it's important that you guys help me get this stuff out as far and as wide as possible. So until next time, look out for Charlie.